the final question. Okay, we have just received the go signal. And for your final question, candidate number four, the question is, balancing tradition and modernity is a unique challenge for many women today. As Lin Ai Kang Sibalom 2024, representing the vibrant and resilient spirit of a Sibalomnon, how do you honor traditional values while also embracing modern roles and responsibilities? And how can this balance benefit the future generations? Do you want us to repeat the question? Okay, one more time. Balancing tradition and modernity is a unique challenge for many women today. As Lin Ai Kang Sibalom 2024, representing the vibrant and resilient spirit of a Sibalomnon, how do you honor traditional values while also embracing modern roles and responsibilities? And how can this balance benefit the future generations? Good evening, everyone. In order for us to balance both tradition and modernity, I was raised by my grandmother, which she had instilled values of compassion and camaraderie, being resilient and fighting against the obstacles of life, no matter your gender, no matter the problem, because I believe that values are instilled even when we were kids. Um, in order to embody the traditions of Asibalumnan, I am very compassionate with um, honoring the tribute of our history. That is by supporting our localities, by being engageful in our community, because in order to do so, we are able to pass on that values and habits to the future generations. We are being role models to the children. And in order to balance it with modernity, as a student, a grade 12 STEM student, I believe that education is very important as well. As lo Today, we are in a changing age wherein um, Technology has eaten up a lot of our space in day-to-day -day life and in order to do great in both tradition and modernity, we are able to contribute to the municipality of Sibalom by practicing um, promotion of our tourism, um, conserving environments, by using our platforms because in this modern age, it is very important to use every platform we have in promoting good things such as um, good characteristics and tributing for our local heritage. Indeed, she came so prepared. Thank you so much. You can breathe now. Candidate number four. You can proceed at the back, please. Thank you so much. And now, we are calling our next top three finalists. We have candidate number six. Candidate number six. Candidate number six is Christelle Love T. Caste, representing Cluster Six. Hello, candidate number six. You made it to top three. How does it feel? Well, communication represents. <laughs> okay. Indeed, you have trained so well with this kind of um, question and answer already with your course communication. And without further ado, here is your final question. Candidate number six, your question is, Balancing tradition and modernity is a unique challenge for many women today. As Lin Ai Kang Sibalom 2024, representing the vibrant and resilient spirit of a Sibalomnon, how do you honor traditional values while also embracing modern roles and responsibilities? And how can this balance benefit future generations? Again, balancing tradition and modernity is a unique challenge for many women today. As Lin Ai Kang Sibalom 2024, representing the vibrant and resilient spirit of a Sibalomnon, how do you honor traditional values while also embracing modern roles and responsibilities? And how can this balance benefit the future generations? Thank you for that wonderful question. As always, with life, we must always balance it. And as Lin Ai Kang Sibalom, 
Balancing tradition and modern and modernity is a unique challenge for many women today. With this, I can say that being a traditional woman or growing up with traditional in a household household of traditional women, it was hard because it was different for them compared to our generation today. And in this modernity, women are taking the workforces as well as doing things that traditional women haven't done in previous years. As Lina Kangsibalom, I am here today as a representative showing to you that bef uh, I was raised by traditional women and right now I will, I am, I am embracing modernity and I think that's all. Thank you. And I believe so. The people had already uh, read your message. Thank you so much. A round of applause to candidate number six. Thank you, candidate number six, Crystal Love P. Casper. Two down and one more to go. May we call in now candidate number eight. Candidate number eight is Sweet Cell Han T. Fernandez representing Cluster Eight. I know this is one of the toughest parts of the competition and the ladies had prepared so well also. And now let's have candidate number eight. Where are the supporters of candidate number eight? There they are. Hello, candidate number eight. Okay, so without further ado, we will now give the final question, candidate number eight. Candidate number eight. The question is, balancing tradition and modernity is a unique challenge for many women today. Azlin Ay Kang Sibalom, 2024, representing the vibrant and resilient spirit of a Sibalomnon, how do you honor traditional values while also embracing modern roles and responsibilities, and how can this balance benefit the future generations? Again, balancing tradition and modernity is a unique challenge for many women today. As Lin Ay Kang Sibalom 2024, representing the vibrant and resilient spirit of a Sibalomnon, how do you honor traditional values while also embracing modern roles and responsibilities? And how can this balance benefit the future generations? As Lin Ay Kang Sibalom, I will serve a symbol of hope, love, and inspiration to the people. How can this balance benefit the future generations? This is by I am advocating the planting of Philippine native trees and by this way we can make our traditional values and embrace, embrace modern roles and responsibilities. Thank you. She's taking it through the use of nature. A round of applause, candidate number eight.